Hey everybody, Danny with Total Geek Live here, and here's another episode of This Week of Geek. Probably the biggest news of the week was the purchase of most of the assets of 21st Century Fox by the powerhouse that is Disney. They purchased it for $52.4 billion. This brings back the Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Deadpool franchises to Marvel, but it also gives Disney numerous other intellectual properties, such as Avatar, Home Alone, anyone smell a remake? The X-Files, The Simpsons, National Geographic, and many, many more. It also gives Disney the rights to distribute the original Star Wars movies. So that box set that every fan has been dreaming about will finally become a reality. Not only that, but Disney now is the majority owner of Hulu, giving them a better position to compete with Netflix. Wowza. Speaking of Netflix, the company has announced that they have teamed up with DreamWorks Animation Television to reboot She-Ra, Princess of Power. The showrunner will be Noel Stevenson, who is the writer-illustrator for Lumberjanes. Netflix has also released a teaser trailer for a new sci-fi series coming early next year titled Altered Carbon. Based on Richard Morgan's 2002 cyberpunk novel of the same name, the series is set in the year 2384, where new technology can transfer a person's consciousness to a new body once they've died. A very rich, 365 years old man is murdered and is now looking for his killer with the help of an ex-soldier who he brings back to life in a new body. Sounds out of this world, right? Well, another out of this world idea is that Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, has announced that the payload, yeah, get this, the payload for the first launch of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy might actually contain Musk's own Midnight Cherry Tesla Roadster, complete with a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in the glove box, a towel, a sign that says, Don't Panic!, and a sound system blaring David Bowie's Space Odyssey. Kind of crazy, right? The latest trailer for Ready Player One dropped this week. In it, the songs Van Halen's Jump and Depeche Mode's World in My Eyes are featured and kind of help give it that 80s vibe. You can also catch glimpses of King Kong, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, Street Fighter's Chung Lee, and Tracer from Overwatch. The movie comes out March 30th, 2018, so mark your calendars. Now, I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel Bad Lip Reading, and this time, guys... They've knocked it way out of the ballpark. So stop what you're doing after you watch this video and go watch the video where they've taken the first season of Stranger Things and turned it into a very cringy sitcom from the 1990s. Dude, it's funny stuff. And finally, it wouldn't be this week of geek without me mentioning the fact that Star Wars The Last Jedi is 
finally out in theaters. The film had the second biggest Thursday preview ever with $45 million, with The Force Awakens still in the number one spot when it earned $57 million. Next week, we at Total Geek are going to launch our review of the film. So you'll want to make sure to turn on those notifications so you'll know when the video goes live. Well, that's it for this episode of This Week of Geek. I'm Danny with Total Geek Live, and if you liked this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks again, and remember, it's all geek to us. Bye now.